Hi, Elizabeth here with Fast Facts with Elizabeth. I want to remind you to please click on the thumbs up button so that others can see this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified whenever I have more videos that come out. Today I'm going to answer the question of why is my oxygen level good but I'm still short of breath. This is a very good question. I actually get this question all the time. And I need to let you know that if your oxygen levels are good and you're still short of breath and this is something that happens on a regular basis, you need to go see your doctor because there are many reasons to be short of breath. Um, I'm only gonna be able to name a few in this video because it's a fast facts video. But if you have more questions, just leave them for me and then I'll answer them. But um, bronchoconstriction is a big one when you have COPD and that's when your airways are narrow and albuterol treatment will usually remedy that. Um, you could also have fluid in the lungs. You could have mucus in your lungs that's stuck in the airways as well as pulmonary hypertension or um, even pneumonia. Now, other than that, it could be a cardiac issue also. So that's one of the main reasons that I say you really need to get it checked out if it's something that happens on a regular basis. Um, there are many cardiac things that can cause shortness of breath. So also, um, if you're overweight, that can cause shortness of breath. Even the slightest bit overweight can cause shortness of breath and uh, muscle deconditioning. So if it's been a while since you've gotten up and done something and then you get up and you're short of breath, it could just be that your muscles are deconditioned. So um, just keep leaving me your questions and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks, bye.